have to, I'd have to say my parents without a doubt. Uh, I was lucky, I grew up in a very musical household. Um, my mom sang in church, still sings a lot to this day, and played a little piano. My dad played some guitar. Uh, he was always buying records and, you know, the radio was on constantly. So uh, I've just known about music. You know, my earliest memory was there being music in the house. So uh, without a doubt, you know, it was my parents. Well, that's completely the opposite for me. <laughs> we had no music going through the house. Right. World War II, uh, right wing construction guy, my father, right? But but he did buy me my first guitar. The cheap little cat gut acoustic guitar when I was nine, right? Uh, and I guess I guess it kind of started there uh, when I was nine years old. Although I didn't really pick it up until I was more like 12 and 13 years old. Uh, but I would listen to, to uh, I keep saying this, my first guitar hero was this guy named Dick Dale, and he was king of the surf guitars, right? Uh, but then it really kicked off with, you know, the Beatles. The, the first time uh, I heard She Loves You, I thought, holy crap, man, who are these guys, right? Driving home from junior high school, right? And I think those guys, I know it sounds really typical, but I think it was the Beatles that really kicked it off for me. But we had no music going through the house, so. So the Beatles introduced you to music. I think they did. I gotta, have, I gotta tell Paul thank you for that. Way to go, Paul. Well done. Well, you know, being of Irish, Scottish heritage, music's everywhere. And it's in every pub and everywhere you went, you couldn't escape it, you know. And it's huge over there, that folk music thing. So I think that was always going on. And, you know, listening to the BBC Radio 1 when I was a little kid, you know, I used to sneak the radio into the, in the you know, my bed and hide under the covers and I listened to Radio 1 in the morning and I listened to Radio Luxembourg at night. The signal used to go in and out, you know, but you'd, you'd hear all the, all the songs of the day at night and, and you know, we just fell in love with it through that and, and that just really progressed from there really, you know. I mean, if it's funny, if my, my, my dad was not very musical but he used to, every sort of weekend he'd have his buddies over and they'd play cards and the whiskey would come out and, and I would get to sort of be the DJ for the, the night and it was stuff like, you know, Frank Sinatra and you know Johnny Cash and, and Hank Williams and you know Perry Como and just hmm. oh but that was my first real introduction. Even my dad put put this record on. I'd be putting them on and the guys would be playing cards and drinking and, and smoking and I was so I I felt really important and it was just I can remember that feeling very very vividly. So that was the first stuff I ever really heard. But I mean rock and roll wise it was like Slade and, and you know top of the pop stuff back then T Rex and Sweet. And, and then that progressed, and my, my two older sisters, and they were both into rock music, and it was, you know, we started bringing home Wishbone Ass and Thin Lizzy and, and Bowie and all that kind of stuff. And then I just, you know, then punk arrived, and that was it for me.